welcome to another TPO Fly of the Month. This month we're going to make a dry fly. It's a slow water blooming olive. Um, you can tie it anywhere from a size 16 down to a 20. Um, the hook that we're going to use is a 103BL15. Um, the thread is 70 olive UTC. The first step of tying a fly is to make the post. So I'm going to tie the post in, the bottom, come across the top there, the most labor intensive part of this fly and any of these flies that are parachute patterns is making the actual parachute. That's hard to get around the camera here. But here, as you can see, I'm starting to build up the bottom of the post. Not going to go too far up the post. So we're not going to use a lot of hackle with this. All right, so there, we're finished with that. The next material is medium Cote de Leon for the tails. We're going to have very sparse tails. Let's cut this parachute down a little bit here. Just so I can get the thread around it. That's not going to be the length of the parachute when we tie the fly when it's finished. But that will do for now. The next material is an olive strip peacock quill. Tie that in. Now I'm going to cut the end of the peacock quill out. Going to cut there. Okay. So now we're ready for the next material, and that's going to be my hackle pliers, okay, because we have to make the body of this fly and what you're going to see is the body of this fly is going to be extremely slender just like the naturals would be so there we're going to Wrap up the hook shank. Take your time. Okay, now we're going to cut this off. So the body's done. Now for the rest of the body, what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue, just put a tiny bit of glue on there. Just to make it indestructible. Okay, now the next piece of the fly, we're going to take blueing olive, super fine dubbing, and we're going to dub just a little bit right behind the rear of the post. Alright, now we're going to tie in the hackle. We're going to use Grizzly Hackle. Alright, 
right, so the next step is we're going to tie in the grizzly hackle. So here I'm going to tie in the end of the feather facing the eye of the hook. I'm going to snip this excess right here. Now I'm going to take the hackle. I'm going to wrap it counterclockwise. Okay, now pull it like that, go under, and that's how we're going to tie it off, the hackle. Now with this light hook, wire hook, you don't need a lot of hackle to hold the fly up. You only need a couple turns. So now we're going to come back. Put a little more dubbing on the thread. The bluing olive is super fun. and dub the front of the fly. Do one half hitch. And that's it. Now here, we're gonna take a small dab of thread right to the, near the eye of the hook, just to hold that together. And if you look, you can't really see the grizzly hackle, but it's there. We're gonna cut the post. There it is. Very slim underbody, small post, grizzly hackle. And what the grizzly hackle does is it traps the air and it doesn't allow the fly to sink head down. So if you put a little floating on this one, it has very little materials. The fly is very thin, so it doesn't break the surface tension. So there's one of the good bluing olive patterns that I use. And have at it. Not too hard to tie. Just a little hard with the camera, maybe in two feet away from the fly, but got it done. There it is.